Hello everyone! Tom was here back with another unboxing video and this is the BAM Gamer Box. Now before we get into that, we have a cool relationship going. He yawns almost every video. You can go back and see him yawn in every video. We're like a pen and teller. I talk a lot, he doesn't talk at all. Or like maybe the Major League where the guy's the color man and he doesn't hardly say anything. But maybe he'll be a little bit more vocal in this one. Um, because it's the BAM Gamer Box, and this is a tried and true gamer right here. Um, I am a gamer to a lesser extent, um, but some of the franchises that were in there here this month, and I'll be honest, I haven't been looking at the, the BAM franchises, because um, I want it to be a complete surprise when I open stuff. Uh, I don't, you know, I kind of, uh, I just remember not being super, like, like, I, I looked at the franchises that were in here, and I was like, oh, that's fine. But uh, this one is, uh, I think, the last Gamer Box, or at least the last for the foreseeable future, where you're going to get a guaranteed autograph Funko Pop inside. Um, so we're going to check it out. We're going to see what is inside here, and um, we're going to determine if the value is there. So peek in here we're gonna see what is inside can I pull out the first item? you can pull out the first item now hold on there's BAM paper just make sure it's not the Funko Pop just, just dig in there look for something small and try to go small and thing we need on the art print first um it's uh you know what that is? Is that a is that a ripoff Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles with three of them? Not quite. Uh, it is Battletoads, is what it is. Um, Battletoads was a Nintendo game. I never really played that one a ton. Uh, this is number 935 of 2200. Uh, but it's a really cool art print, very nice uh, art print. Um, probably not one I'm going to keep just because I was never super into Battletoads when it, when it was first out. Um, so let's see. We'll dig and see what is in here. We have a pin. Oh, it's a Tomb Raider. Is it Tomb Raider? Yeah. Is this Tomb Raider? Wait. Need somebody to know. Wait, hold I don't on. think that's Tomb Raider. Wait, hold on. Yeah, that's Tomb Raider. That's Laura Croft. I don't think so. That's Laura this pin has a he he says he's he's avouching of the fact that this is Laura Croft. I don't think this is Laura Croft, um, but this is, pin is a limited release of 250. And once again, in these Bammer um, Gamer boxes, I uh, got another limited release pin. So interesting stuff there. I don't think that's Laura Croft, but I don't know who that is exactly. But a limited release pin, nonetheless, will probably be up for sale on eBay. And I'm actually going to add um, uh, a viewer suggested, actually a guy I used to go to high school with, Mike, if you're watching, I appreciate it, um, to put my eBay store link in the description. And I think that's what I'm going to do. Um, although I do put these stuff on like trading and, and other selling communities, uh, these might find their way to eBay. And if you do buy something from my eBay store and you found it, you found your way there from a link into my video. Uh, let me know and I'll throw in like a little special something in the box for you as a viewer of this channel. So um, we're going to find out shortly. I don't think this is Laura Croft. Yeah, Any that is. You want to dig in the next one? Yep. The cheat sheet's in there. Don't don't mess with the cheat sheet. That's the Funko. Oh. I'm gonna, it's still wrapped in plastic. I have no idea what it is. I can't grab one. Hold I on. Here, we're going to toss you this one. There. Oh, uh... all, right. all right. Now, once again, I, I love the damn box. I love your props. I love the 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 the, the badges, and this one's awesome. This is uh, Raccoon City Police. I have a shirt like this. This is from Resident Evil. Um, uh, more Resident Evil Two um, than I think anything. I because I don't think. Raccoon City Stars unit wasn't in the original Resident Evil, was it? Uh, it that wasn't until Resident Evil 2, if I remember correctly. But I like the quality you have on your badges. Uh, they're really awesome. Uh, that probably will not be up for sale because I dig that. Um, that's that's 
probably, I mean, and I haven't seen the Funko yet, but I'm going to take a stab. It may be my favorite thing in the box, but we'll see. I, I've been, you know, surprised me. Okay, what is this? Um, okay. Uh, for fire, uh, a portion of the man box purchase is helping. Oh, okay. This is apparently a portion of the box is to help firefighters and first responders this month because it's first responder month. That's really cool. Um, okay. So a portion of the thing went to, um, first responders. That's awesome. Okay. Right on. This is the art card. Oh, and it's a green lantern. It is a green lantern, uh, art card. That's a pretty cool card there. Um, you know, I've been kind of selling off the art cards just because we don't really collect them and don't really have a, you know, uh, you know, I know people collect these. Um, unfortunately, we just don't really have, I have limited space in my collection um, for uh, stuff like the art prints and the art cards, unless it's something really good. Here is the level up. I'm almost certain that is the pin again because it has a limited release pin. And, um... We are going to find out what that is. Where is the, um, is there a scratch card in here? Oh, this box was supposed to have, and maybe this, no, I don't think this is it. Wasn't it supposed to have the art upgrade? Didn't I win from the gamer box? Now, when I reached out to BAM, I had mentioned, um, we had won a scratch off for the, um, gamer box, and it was an art upgrade. And it said it would be in uh, the next box, which is this box. And this seems to be the standard art print because it's out of 2200. So, hmm, I may have to reach out to them again for that. But I don't see a scratch off card in here. So, no scratch off card that I can see. Right. Okay. It's just the Funko left. So it's just the Funko left. I may have to reach out to them again because I did not get a scratch off card. All right. It's in here. All right. Um, take your guesses. Take okay. your guesses. Um, why can't you remember what the franchises were? And usually they say something is from, um, not necessarily from one of the franchises that uh, uh, were mentioned i i do remember re now that i look at it i do remember battletoads and, and resident evil were mentioned um but i'm not sure on the other franchises so uh, we'll take a peek we'll see what's in time yes i knew it and it's my favorite character in there lifeline from okay Apex. all right very excited very exciting time uh, I, I know nothing about Apex, to be honest. Um, but it's apparently your favorite character, Lifeline, from Apex Legends. Um, so this may be something you're going to want to hold on to, I assume. So this may not be for sale this month. Um, so we're going to consult the cheat sheet here. Have they, they done away with the, um, scratch-off cards? Or is it, like, no? And it mentions a scratch-off card. So we got no scratch-off card. Uh, we got no art upgrade that I can see. Uh, so, okay. Your autograph Funko. From the smash hit Apex Legends, we are pleased to bring you the voice of Lifeline, actress Mila Lee. She's well known in the industry for her voice work in multiple games, including Mortal Kombat and animation. Okay. Oh, so... Uh, this no, I don't think that's the... Oh, that's her. Yeah. 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 Life. yeah. Lifeline. Okay. All right. Yeah. I didn't... Uh, I kind of spoiled it right before because I didn't realize what this was. <laughs> uh, okay. So, yeah. Me, the Lee, Lifeline. Uh, that's cool. Uh, the... Okay. So, the fan art print... The fan art print is actually Final Fantasy is what it is. Um, so... Uh, that's the, the standard pin. And Tifa, which is 250, which is what we got, is the level up pin. Um, so that will definitely be up for sale. Never been a big Final Fantasy person myself. Um, the art print. 
battle toads, but not an art upgrade um, that was supposed to be in this box. So I'm gonna have to reach out to um, to Bam to see what the deal is there, or maybe it's in the the geek box. We'll have to check that. Maybe they got the boxes mixed up. I'll give them the benefit of the doubt. Um, but yeah, uh, the Raccoon City badge. Um, is something that we're going to keep just because I, I dig the quality on that and I've always been a fan of a Resident Evil. Um, so I like that one. And uh, that is it. So I'm going to have to reach out to them to see what the deal is with the art upgrade. Going to have to reach out to them. I don't know if they do anything with the fact that there's no scratch off in the box because it's only a chance to win anything. Um, but once again, a quality box. Mm -hmm. um, you know, things that one he of likes, my yeah, one of his favorites for sure. Things that he likes, um, as mentioned, because I don't play Apex Legends, uh, you know, I dig the badge, that's probably my favorite thing. He likes the Funko Pop, he's probably gonna take that up to his room and put that in his collection, um, as his first autograph pop. But that'll do it, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Let me know how you feel about these Bam Gamer boxes. I thought the first two were pretty good, even though I've I've sold off pretty much most of the stuff or given away most of the stuff from the original box. I do appreciate the value that was put in there. Um, you know, it definitely had significant value enough to pay for additional boxes. Should that be something that you're you're not into? So, if you are new here, uh, make sure to like, share, and subscribe. Um, leave a comment. I will respond to any and all comments. Uh, if you'd like to support us on Patreon, there is a link in the description below. If you would like to buy a t-shirt of just the channel logo as it stands now, there's a link in the description below there. There will also be a link to my eBay store. Some of these items, not necessarily all of them, but some of them might find their way onto my eBay store. And I just put a ton of stuff um, from other previous videos and just other stuff I've been kind of sitting on that I'm going to be selling um, to kind of pay for some of these additional boxes and this additional video content. Um, but like I said, if you buy something and come from this link that I put in the thing, or you know, or you're a watcher of my YouTube and you want an extra additional something in there, I haven't decided yet what that will be. Um, just let me know when you, um, when you buy something. Leave a comment, I'll toss a little something in there along with a personalized thank you for watching. And um, yeah. But that'll wrap it up. Guys, until the next video, which will be shortly, um, you know, probably a couple more this week. We'll see you soon. Bye. Bye, everyone.